tonight, we saw the latest one, a deadly shooting just before 7.30 tonight in the Linden neighborhood. A 17-year-old was shot outside of the e and &E food market on East Hudson Street, and the suspect is in custody. So how do you stop the violence when it becomes so prevalent, especially among teenagers? Some community activists say one alternative is boxing. TV's Richard Solomon spoke to one trainer about using gloves instead of guns. In this ring, you'll learn a lot of things. When to throw a punch and what can come after one is thrown. When it comes to throwing a punch or where their feet is, it kind of develops a sense of accountability outside of the gym. But most importantly, a lesson that could save a life. Boxing helps kind of like deter them from violence. And that, that is the reason why Rashad Scott has been teaching this art for the last 10 years. The boxing gym near the city's east side is led by community leaders Sean Stevenson and Ephraim W. Lately Jr. It's an important role in the End the Violence campaign. The goal, to teach people how to de-escalate situations peacefully without turning to a gun. Fighting and learning um, how to fight kind of calms you down as an individual. And a lot of people, I feel like, they pick up d guns because they don't know how to fight, like as a, as a sense to protect themselves. And he says this method of discipline is needed now more than ever. Last year, Columbus had several homicides involving teens. Scott says learning these lessons at a young age can give a kid purpose. Because the idle time is the devil's playground. Like the more time you have on your hands and it's not being used to be productive, you kind of fall into just the negative stream of what the world is providing. Scott hopes if his students are put in a certain situation, they'll remember their training with everyone walking away. There's been a lot of lives that came through here, but there's been lives lost, and that's what keeps me motivated, and that's what keeps me going. Reporting in Columbus, Richard Solomon, 10TV News.